All right, so in this problem, we want to find the solution to the proportion. Now, a direct way we can solve is just by simply cross multiplying, and then we are left with 52 times m minus 2 equals 1 times 15 plus m. Now we can distribute these numbers into the parentheses. And now we have 52 times m, which will give us 52m. 52 times negative 2 will give us negative 104 equals 1 times 15, which will give us 15, plus 1 times m, which will give us m. Now we want to move all of our va variables to one side and all of our numbers to the other, and so we will have to subtract m on both sides and add 104 to both sides. And now we have 51m equals 117 or 119 on the other side. Now if we want to isolate m, we want to divide by 51, and before we do so, we can break up this 19 into 51 plus 51 plus the remainder that we have after we add the two values, we have 17 left over. Now when we divide by 51, we can divide each of the values by 51, and this simplifies into 1 plus 1 plus a third. Because if we divide, if we simplify this fraction, 17 divided by 17, we have 17 divided by 17, which gives us 1, and 17 and 51 divided by 17 gives us 3. So now we have m equals 1 plus 1 plus a third, which gives us 2 and 1 third. Now our answers are all written in mixed numbers, so in improper fractions, so we have to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction by multiplying the, the denominator by the whole number and adding the product to the numerator. So now we have 6 plus 1, because 2 times 3 gives us 6, we add it to the numerator of 1, we get 7, and we keep our denominator of 3, so our final answer is 7 thirds. Another way you could have solved this problem is by looking at this proportion, and you can see that this proportion has to be positive because this equals a positive number. Now that means that this m has to be positive and this m has to be positive in order for this value to be true. Now if, if the m has to be greater than 2 for it to be positive, that means that all of our fractions here have to be greater than 2. That means that we can already cancel out a and c and we are left with comparing b and d. Now you can take the values of b and d and plug them into the values of m to see which one gives you the the value of 1 divided by 52. That's another way of solving this problem.